Hello and welcome to our first life hack this year. My name is Patrick from the Maker Engineer Bureau and today I would like to give you a brief introduction into the preliminary design of Turbo machines with the tools and the software provided by Concepts NREC. So as some of you may know, Concepts NREC and Numeka International formed a strategic partnership in uh, 2016. However, um, they have been working together for many years already and their software will also be implemented into our new Omnis environment. Um, some of those tools are already in there, uh, I think in particular Axial and uh, more will follow within this year and the next year. Um, in particular, what we are going to do today is to design a centrifugal compressor within the Meanline tool that is uh, Compile. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much the agenda today. And uh, I suggest we get started. So as I mentioned, the goal today is to design a centrifugal compressor. And we will do that by means of Compile and Accent. Compal is the mean line design tool for uh, this type of turbo machinery, but uh, Concepts also offers tool tools for axial turbo machinery, that is axial, you have fan power for fans, radial for radial turbines. So if you are more interested in these and in, in the software and the programs that are offered by Concepts, please just take a look at conceptsnrectal.com. Uh, um, those guys really do very great work. They offer workshops all the time and uh, yeah, just take a look and uh, I'm pretty sure you will, you will like it. So let me just switch to Compile and um, you can get started pretty easily by simply saying, so you open Compile and then you say File, New. And then what's happening is that Compile guides you via a, a wizard through um, a series of, of questions where you simply input the global data and the operating conditions for your turbo machinery. So inlet conditions, uh, radius ratios, the models you or the model that you would like to use for, um, a, for your mean line design, all that stuff. It is actually pretty straightforward, uh, which is why I'm going to jump through this very quickly and uh, if you are interested in uh, more details just give us feedback and then we can make a separate video uh, where we can go more into details so yeah enjoy the show And that was already it. <laughs> so as soon as you have finished the wizard, um, Compile will ask you, do you want to um, convert this to a multipoint analysis? Um, we will get in a second to that, um, what that actually means. But for now, um, as soon as you have completed the wizard, I would recommend that you um, stay in design mode. Uh, and of course, save the file noticing in the file name that this is a file in design mode. So uh, let me just save this in my working directory. So in my case, I'm going to call this compressor design mode and yes, replace it. So Compal has uh, iterated over or it has taken my input and iterated over a few uh, equations and uh, basically came up with a first draft of your turbo machinery. If you noticed somehow that you made a mistake, then you can now just simply click on the various section of this turbo machinery and adjust your settings. So for instance, if you notice that um, you have to change your total inlet pressure, just click upstream of the impeller and then you have all the data that you selected 
uh, within the uh, wizard. And the same applies, uh, let me just click here on autosolve. Autosolve basically means run the solver every time I uh, change anything. Um, so you can click here and change the settings for the impeller inlet or the outlet. Now, of course, we do not have the time to go through the entire menu. However, I would really love to show you at least two, um, let's call it design helpers, which can make your life a little bit easier. Um, and uh, the, the first thing that I would like to show you is basically really called design helper. So you can go to solver design helper. And then you can tell Compal, I would like to maximize, for instance, my um, global efficiency, total, total. So I'm gonna select this here. I would like to maximize it. And I would like to know how, for instance, the radius ratio at the inlet, so from hub to tip, influences my efficiency. So I can select the variable that I want to uh, maximize or minimize. I select um, the variable, the dependent variable and say, OK, I would like you to change uh, this design parameter from, let's say, 0.25 to 0.55 in a certain uh, step size. Then you add it and then you can just click run the solver. And then what's happening is that Compal applies different values to this radius ratio and shows you how the efficiency, uh, efficiency changes. So as you can see, um, if you take a brief look on the range of the y-axis here, the influence is not that big, at least here in the mean line design. However, you can see that as you decrease this radius ratio, um, your total efficiency increases. So what I'm going to do right now is I can say, hmm, okay, I'd like this value here of 0.3 and I'm going to apply this. Another very nice tool is the possibility to accumulate your designs. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So you have this button here where you can say accumulate designs. And what I'm going to do now is I will change certain parameters of the stage. So for instance, the back sweep, I'm going to start with the back sweep by double clicking on um, the trailing edge region of the impeller. And then I'm going to set this value to, for instance, minus 55 degrees and to minus 65 degrees. And after doing so, I can open this table right here. So now I have my table here and you have all the designs that I ran so far within um, this file. And I can just simply click in this table and I get my total efficiency, for instance, here for all the designs that I have created. So these first uh, points here are the points that were ran by the design helper as we um, changed the radius ratio at the inlet. And here you have the other changes that I made. So for instance, I changed the radius ratio again, according to the values I received from the design helper. I changed my back sweep from, uh, from minus 45 to minus 65. And as you can see, my efficiency increases with back sweep to a certain value, and then it just um, remains constant, which will, um, which leads me to the choice for the back sweep of minus 55 um, degrees. And that's pretty much it for the design mode that I would like to show uh, today. Now, before we switch to Accent and continue our efforts to design a very efficient turbo machinery, uh, I would like to lose a few words regarding design and analysis mode. 
So as you can see right now, we are in design mode, which means that for instance, if you double click here, you have, or you are working a lot with ratios. So you do not have explicit values right here. That changes as soon as you save, well, let me just run the solver one more time. And that changes as soon as you switch to analysis mode. And there are multiple ways to do that. However, uh, we recommend that you save or that you use the option save as analysis. So you're gonna just say compressor and in my case, compressor analysis uh, mode. And now we're, we had the word design mode, now we're in analysis mode. And as you can see, now we have explicit values for our ready, for instance. And um, that gives us the option to mm, change the values again. But more important, um, we are now also able to create a multi-point analysis and create a map. And we do that by simply going to general, multiple data, then you have different uh, options like uh, choke calculation, um, you click apply, and what's happening is that Compol will now run a simulation for a variety of mass flows and um, rotation speeds. And after you have run the solver for this case, you can use this predefined layout, which shows you different parameters such as uh, total to static pressure ratio. It shows you the efficiency and the necessary uh, power that is needed to drive the machine, stuff like that. And that's pretty much all I got for today. So I really hope that you enjoyed this life hack. Please be sure to leave us feedback. Do you want to know more about this software? Um, as of now, we are planning to release a second part of this life hack where we will continue our efforts to design a, a very efficient turbo machinery. However, then we will take the next step and export this design here from Compile to Accent. And uh, yeah, just to uh, give you a little preview. Please be sure to also subscribe to our newsletter, take a look at our website. Um, and um, yeah, if you have any questions regarding this life hack, regarding the software, if you're interested in uh, getting a demo, just, uh, yeah, just contact us. I see you then.